I think what I found most exciting about it was, is that it gave people, Brett, like me and you, it gave people, everyday people, an opportunity to be a part of some type of big tech play that's gonna be happening on the, in the world right now. And so what's the number one secret to building wealth with Helium IoT Network? Well, one of the, you know, one of the things that we can't ignore right now is that, you know, cryptocurrency, as much as people like to go up and down, right, it depends who you talk to. Some people think, oh, cryptocurrency is the greatest thing in the world. Other people think it's, it's a Ponzi scheme. It's a scam. It's going to go away one day. It's been around a long time. Um, right now, it is down throughout. Everything is around down uh, when it comes to cryptocurrency, but it is going like anything else. It's going to rebound. It's going to come back and it's already poised to do that. Um, but one of the things that I that I found in cryptocurrency was that most of the people that were getting involved with it were had to buy a type of currency, had to buy a coin, had to buy a token, had to buy something. And so what was different about IoT, what Helium was wanting to do is that Helium said, OK, we're going to be a cryptocurrency. But instead of having people buy the currency as the main thing, we want to create a decentralized Internet. This was like a really interesting concept that they basically said, OK, Here's what we're going to do. We're going to create these hotspots. We're going to allow people to put them in their homes. And these hotspots are going to network with other hotspots. And before you know it, you're going to create a, a, like a worldwide network, a, a complete worldwide decentralized network of uh, technology. And we said, wow, that's, uh, that was interesting. And, and I think what I found most exciting about it was is that it gave people, Brett, like me and you, it gave people, everyday people, an opportunity to be a part of some type of big tech play that's gonna be happening on the, in the world right now. And Helium is a worldwide business right now. It isn't a US business or an Asian business, or it isn't in Latin America, or it isn't in Eastern Europe or Europe or England or any of these places. It's completely worldwide. So the more Helium hotspots you have, that network with other hotspots, you are going to be rewarded, rewarded like cryptocurrency. And, and what I what I mean by that, I always try to explain it this way because people try to understand what this concept is. Imagine if Netflix got started today, they probably wouldn't just say go online. They would probably send you out a device that you would put in your house and it would be the Netflix device. And they would say, great, we're going to give you this device and here's what we're going to do. This device is going to hook up with all of the other Netflix devices in the neighborhood. And so when your neighbor down the road orders a movie, we're going to send that signal through your neighborhood. And as, once it passes through your box to get to somebody else's Netflix box so they can watch the movie, we're going to pay you a little something for that. So in essence, Netflix is not paying for the network. People are paying for the network, but now they're going to reward the network uh, users. And this is what is happening. It's like a digital railroad that we all get to get a little piece of that railroad. And every time data goes over that railroad, we're going to get rewarded in tokens. So Helium could have done it where they paid everybody in money, but they're paying everybody in crypto, the cryptocurrency called HNT. And so once you set it, it's kind of like Ron Popeil. I don't know if you remember Ron Popeil. You know, the, he was the infomercial guy like 20 years, 30 years ago. He used to have all these crazy infomercials. And one of them was this oven that he used to, it was like a rotisserie oven. And he would, he would cook chickens in it on TV and he sold millions. And he had this thing that he said, once you put the chicken in and you close the door, you set it and forget it. That was his tagline. It was most, one of the most brilliant taglines. But here at Linkster, it's kind of the same way. Once a box is set up on somebody's property, and we install it, it's very simple. It plugs in, antenna goes on the roof. You set it and forget it. And, the, and now the box is gonna do what it's gonna do. It's gonna network with other boxes and you're gonna get automatic rewards in cryptocurrency. And over time, that's gonna add up to be quite a fortune. So that's what I love about the passive residual income that you know this type of business can actually give you. Okay, so let me see if I got it. So it's like a digital uh, rail, uh, railroad for information or for things for internet it's the a decentralized internet it's hot spots connected to one another on and you guys need the the physical locations and the power probably right to to, to run Correct. it which is on the That's houses it. that people already have and then and then by you know uh, we um 
I invested in a company called DZSI, and part of what they do is it's high speed, ultra high speed um, internet, right? right? And and part of that is like the traditional way takes like a thousand feet per box in order to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, a hundred feet per box or something like that. On like you set up like a university or a business to right. connect, but their their model is it t- it's a thousand, right? And it's like a hundred times faster, all these different things, and they connect it like the the Oakland Raiders stadium and they they all these big stuff. So it's just a better, faster way. And what you guys are saying is let's take it decentralized and let's use the existing infrastructure, people's houses or apartments or maybe whatever, right? Plug it in and that, and we're going to go, we're going to, it's like, it's almost like the underground railroad in that sense, right? You're going offline and, and you guys are bypassing maybe some of the bigger companies. Is that a fair summary? And exactly. 